Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Beth and Dear, and I'm going to do things a little bit upside down. So this is my third video blog uh, for my rehearsal process, and I realized today that I didn't really introduce the project in, in vlog one, so I'm going to do that today. Um, so yeah, my name is Beth and Dear. I am a theatre maker. I perform, I write, I direct, I clown, I dance, um, have many hats, no pun intended. Um, and I am in the middle of creating a show that's been in development for, well, maybe I'm towards the end than, rather than in the middle. Um, a show that's been in development for the last three years officially and unofficially for the last seven years. So it's a big, it's a big old journey. The show is called How to Be Well in a World That is Sick, and it's an exploration of the impact of social narratives and cultural narrative, narrative, um, I'm, I just ate some chocolate and I've had such a great day that I'm going to be talking like super fast. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, yeah, so it's an exploration of social narratives and uh, cultural narratives. And it's an exploration of how those narratives impact on us. It's an exploration of the experiences that we might have in the world, some related to gender, some not related to gender. It's an exploration of the impacts of sexual violence, sexual abuse. It's a, an exploration of how the trauma that those experiences can leave will shape you and your experience of the world. It looks at uh, our mental health and how our mental health as individuals is directly related to our experiences, how our experiences are directly related to our culture, um, and how all of those things are kind of interconnected. It's an exploration of my own personal journey with mental health, with trauma, with experiences of sexual violence. It's uh, also a collective journey into those things. So I've been working with an amazing group of humans through New Pathways, which are an awesome organization who offer uh, rape uh, crisis support and support for people who've experienced various forms of sexual abuse, assault or violence. Um, so their voices are also going to be part of this show and this journey. I've also worked with a lot of um, people, predominantly women, over the last few years in the various stages of this project and their voices will also be in here in some context. So it's a very individual show and also hopefully a collective uh, a collective experience as well kind of both um and today was today was a really really I'm trying really hard not to swear because I have a habit of swearing a lot when I'm excited and that will mean that this cannot go in some places so today was a really really great day um I had a difficult morning and I was feeling really overwhelmed by how much responsibility there is in, in making this work to kind of, you know, how much responsibility I feel sometimes as an artist covering these subject matters and, and wanting to like get it right and, you know, wanting to make it available for people and accessible for people and, and wanting to get my message across but not wanting it to be too uh, triggering or alienating and, and kind of all of these balls that, uh, that I'm juggling in my head around this and and how they relate to me personally, as a person and as a performer, and how they relate to the possible audience. So I was a little bit weighed down this morning with kind of thinking about all of that. Um, but then I had a meeting with New Pathways, and we made some decisions that really helped me feel like like some of that weight has been lifted. So that was great. Um, and then I had a session today with one of my collaborators for the project, uh, Jess Mess Herman, who's an amazing performer and creative practitioner who I'm lucky enough to be working with. Um, and we went over the whole of the the whole of the content for the previous version of this show, which I performed two years ago at the comedy festival in Macontlith. Um And it was really great because I haven't performed it since then. And and as a performer, you have this kind of constant fear of like oh my God, I, I've forgotten how to perform. And especially like since COVID, uh, you know, performing is like a muscle and, and it's a lot about muscle memory and like being in your body and, and having contact with the audience. And obviously that's not been happening for the last 12 months or more. So I've had all these little voices of like, oh, you've forgotten how to perform. You know, you've forgotten how to perform. You're not going to know what you're doing. You're not going to remember it. And, um, 
and especially because it's been two years since I performed, almost two years since I performed this work. So it's a long time for something to have just kind of been percolating. But a lot of it is still there. And it was really great to like get into the, into the spirit of the show and, and the playfulness of some of the characters. And also to bring like the vulnerability that is part of it and, and to really kind of remember all of those different spaces that exist in the show. Um, and yeah, it went really well. So I'm like, I'm, I'm hyped up and I'm, I'm, I'm psyched up about, about coming into this space again next week and kind of really starting to bring the new material, uh, and add that into what we already have, because there's kind of a, there's a, there's a shift happening with the project now where initially it was very much about my own personal voice and my own personal experiences. And since partnering with new pathways and working with their clients and since kind of bringing in some of the voices of other people that I've been working with in the last three years in in this project and other projects it's now kind of expanding so there's this really nice moment of of something that already exists undergoing a change and a process which which also relates to my own kind of healing journey with all of this stuff personally so there's a really nice kind of um overlay or or like overlay I don't know if that's the right word like um, overlap of those kind of my individual journey and the journey of the show and they kind of feel like they're they're evolving together which is great um, I'm trying to keep these vlogs like under a certain amount of minutes so um, yeah today was great I'm really excited about the project um, it's really nice to have the people that I have working on it with me and to have them in the room and it was really nice to remember today that sometimes when you start you know, when you start in a place where you maybe feel overwhelmed by something or you feel like something's going to be too difficult or too much, that if you have the right support in place, that that can really change. And so, you know, if I hadn't had Jess here today and I hadn't been able to kind of share what I was feeling and, and be heard in that, I probably would have stayed kind of stuck feeling very anxious and overwhelmed. So it's a really nice reminder as well, like for creativity, but also for mental health and for us as people that, you know, if we get what we need, if we're able to share how I'm feeling really overwhelmed and really vulnerable and someone is able to listen to us in that and support us and meet us in that, then things can change really quickly and we can find ourselves in a much uh, much lighter, freer space. Um, so yeah, that feels like a great, a great place to end uh, a Friday on and I look forward to getting back into the room next week. Um, I've had some really lovely feedback from some of you that have been watching the the vlog. I really don't know how I feel about that word, but um, anyway, uh, yeah. So thank you very much for, for tuning in and see some of you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.